Hi, my name is Cindy, and you are? I'm Gowan. Nice to meet you, Gowan. Um, thank you for coming in today. So I wanted to just introduce you a little bit to myself. Um, again, my name is Cindy. I am um, a school counselor, and um, I wanted to tell you that whatever happens or whatever we speak about here is going to stay here unless I feel that you are a threat to yourself or to someone else then I am obligated to let someone know. Right. Is that okay? Yes. Okay. And I also wanted to let you know that we're recording this session, um, and if at any time you don't feel comfortable with it, we could turn that off. Okay. That's fine? Yep. Okay. So um, what brings you in today? Well, um, I'm in graduate school, and I'm taking four courses this semester, and a lot of them are very challenging, and I'm just wondering, can I even handle this at this point? Okay. So you feel that um, you're not able to handle it? Yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I shouldn't say that. Well, yeah, I, I, I kind of feel like it's getting to be too much and I can't handle it. And I've also, there's some other things I've been sick. Um, there's some family issues I've been having. So there's just a lot of stuff. Okay. And, yeah. Okay, so all this stuff is preventing you from, from doing what you're able to do. Um, it's not preventing me from doing it because I, I always get everything done, but it, it, it makes it more stressful and okay. you really start to doubt your abilities. Okay. You know, when this happens. Okay, so this stress that you're feeling is, is making you doubt the things that you know that you are able to do. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so how long have you, like, what, what, semester are you in in graduate um this is I, I just have this semester and then I have an internship and just two classes so I'm almost done. oh so you're almost yeah. done okay yeah. so you've been doing this for some time now so and okay so let me ask you in the past you felt stressed yes okay and now when you feel stressed um what is it that you feel like you do to reduce some of that stress um, you know, I'll take a break from what I'm doing, okay. um, take a time out, do something I enjoy doing, you know, talk to somebody in my family. Okay. Now you said something that you enjoy doing. What do you enjoy doing? Um, I like learning languages. Okay. Um, I like to work out. Okay. So, so yeah. and that reduces your stress. Yep. Okay. So, um, now with this semester now, mm -hmm. does this seem to be the most stressful from your okay yes. <laughs> well you're almost towards the end so right, right. <laughs> okay so um have you thought about actually like since this one is the most stressful <coughs> mm -hmm. um do you still use those same techniques that you use like working out talking to your family um yeah i do um sometimes i i don't get to because i feel like every time i'm doing it i feel like i should be studying there's something okay. else i should be doing so okay but sometimes, you know, I guess just actually taking a little bit of a breather yeah. works to your benefit. Right. And you might even work better. Absolutely. So, um, so what you, you know, the stressful, it is very stressful, but taking that time is really important for yourself. Right, right. Um, you know, you don't want to burn yourself out. Mm -hmm. So, um, being that you're so far into your graduate program, you have done well in the past. Yes. I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. So, what would you say your uh, your grades are like? Um. Well, the past uh, semesters that passed, I got all eights. Oh, yeah. awesome. That's that's good. That's good. Okay. So you do have the ability to perform at your peak. Yes. Okay. It's just this semester is. Yeah. Is it's, doing it. It's to the you. first one where I'm starting to doubt. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I mean, uh, a lot of people go to school a lot of people are always doubting themselves mm -hmm. but in the end when they're walking down you know going to receive a diploma they they see that they were able to accomplish it right so you know um, it may seem like that now mm -hmm. but you know you have done it in the past right. and you have reached this point and you can do it right. just making sure that you do your um, you know you take your time and you Relieve some stress right. would be would be really good. So, um, okay. How many classes are you taking this semester? Uh, four. You're taking four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so you 
you've taken four classes this semester, mm -hmm. and you've always taken four classes? Yeah, I, usually, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, are you on campus or off campus? I'm on campus. You're on campus, yeah. okay. Which is something I don't enjoy, but. <laughs> but there's advantages to being on campus. True, so, true. You know. Yeah. Um, now, where, where the campus is, is there anything that you can do, you know, for your leisure time besides just, like you said, talking to your family or working out? Um, like any social groups that you can... Oh, yeah, yes, I do socialize. Okay, okay, so you're not just always in your no, dorm no, and like, okay, no. okay, so you do socialize and all that, because that's very important <coughs> as well it is. for you to be able to, um, to do that. So... Um, Okay, so you did mention that you're living on campus, right? Yes. Okay, and are you enjoying being on campus? Um, not really, um, because I just, you know, part of you fe always feels like at this stage in your life, because I'm a little bit older on campus, that you should have like your own apartment, and, and you want your own apartment, because mm -hmm. you want your own space, you don't want like strangers, you know, when you get up in the morning, you know, there's just strange people everywhere. You know? Okay. Um, besides just that, can you give me a little bit more on how your experience is overall living on campus? Um, overall, I, I wouldn't say it's horrible overall because it's, it's a place to live, mm -hmm. but it's, it's just not ideal for me at this point. I would, I would like to have my own space. Okay. And, um, you know, there, there's fire drills occasionally. I don't want to get up at 3 in the morning for a fire oh, drill. You, okay. know, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah. I'm too old for this stuff. So you feel, <laughs> so you feel that you should be at a certain point this at your age yeah and you feel like because you're on campus that you're not reaching that stage in life yeah yeah to, a, okay. to an extent yes. to an extent mm -hmm. okay and <coughs> besides living on campus mm -hmm. is there anything that you feel because i just want to focus a little bit like on you mm -hmm. and how you are overall. Right. So, do you feel living on campus, seeing that there's so many people, is there like, do you feel like it's preventing you from always being healthy? Like, um, I know you said you work out, but do you feel, how do you feel overall, your overall well being? Um, usually I, I feel just fine, but recently I have been. Uh, sick. I, I heard that there's some kind of a virus going around, and yeah. I think I caught that. Um, I'm over it now, but I have a cough that's lasted for like, um, I think about two weeks. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And okay. I've never, I've never had anything like this before. I usually don't really get colds that much. Okay. But I don't know what, the, what's going on. Okay. So being that you're on campus, you're always exposed to a lot of different people. Yeah. So you know, one person has it, the next person will get it, and so on and so, so forth. Mm -hmm. And um, could be how you got it. Mm -hmm. um, and being that so many people are sick, it could be possible that, you know, it's just contained right. until it's just, you know, right. maybe once the weather gets better, yeah, <laughs> everybody hopefully. will be better. <laughs> okay, but um, now have you been um, to a doctor or anything? Have you, have you seen? Um, no, I just buy like cough syrup, okay. which doesn't work. Um, I buy halls, which don't work. Um, and I, I, I've, I've looked this up online, and it, they said that it's actually possible for the last two weeks. Because I didn't know that was possible. Okay. But apparently it is. You can have a cough for two. So I'm hoping that it's been like 15 days. I'm hoping that soon this will just be over. You know? Okay. Now, also, because you've been sick, like, yeah, it can last that long. Mm -hmm. But also, since you are so stressed <coughs> and overly stressed. Right your immune system can be suppressed. That's what I was thinking, yeah. So, with that being said, um, it could last maybe even a little longer just because your immune is suppressed. Yeah. Um, you know, because being stressed can cause all kinds of illnesses. Yeah. You know, um, being stressed can actually, you know, lead to chronic illnesses. Mm -hmm. So, um, I would recommend if it doesn't go away to probably see you know, a doctor, you know, right. just to make sure like everything is okay and just to, to make sure you have like a checkup. Right. Um, cause again, <coughs> you're very stressed yeah. at this point. Mm -hmm. So you don't know if just this little cold or cough 
can lead to, you know, something else, bronchitis, and, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So it's always good to have a handle on it before it becomes something that's right. even more severe. Right. So, um, so what do you think you can do besides just working out and speaking to your family? Um, you know, going back to the whole stress issue. Right. Um, <coughs> is there anything else that you feel that you can do, like any um, sort of hobbies that, besides, again, besides the working out, any right. hobbies that you can engage in that might not be time consuming, because yes, you do have your studies, right. but that you can do and it can like clear your head and then you can come back and be fresh again? Um. Like, do you enjoy maybe jogging? Like I know well, that's yeah, another I, form the, of workout. Like on the treadmill, but, yeah. Okay, so you do, but yeah. like, what about like as far as nature? Because like you know, going out and actually like running, it's kind of a different yeah. experience. Have I, you tried that? I, I do that, but the problem is this area. There's nowhere to really do that. Uh, you know okay, what I'm saying? so there's a lack of okay. Yeah. Okay, so I mean, I guess um, I would recommend you continue on the treadmill mm -hmm. um, since you don't have <laughs> much of a location to, to run right. to, um, but <coughs> what about, no, no, it's okay. okay. Um, what about, do you enjoy anything else, like, on your leisure time? Well, one thing I can think of, it's, it's not a hobby, but one thing I can think of to help with the situation is, like, a positive self-talk rather than a negative one, because I can be negative. Sometimes okay, so you are, yeah. so you kind of down yourself. Sometimes, yeah. Okay, well with that, yes, that's not a good thing because um, then you <clears> will <throat> kind of believe it after a while. After yeah. you tell yourself something so often, mm -hmm. you're going to go ahead and, and believe that. Right. So instead of downing yourself, try and, and change that and talk positive. Even if you might not believe it at the moment. Right. Yeah. Um, so, for instance, on your work, so this essay is horrible, mm -hmm. okay? It's horrible, it's horrible. Right. That's what you're going to probably say to yourself, right. which I'm sure it's probably going to be great. Tell yourself, this is the best essay I've ever done. Right. It's the best essay. Go out, work out, talk to your family, then come back. Mm -hmm. Then go ahead and reread it. It's probably going to be an awesome essay. Right, right. <laughs> you know, it's just being stressed, mm -hmm. it changes your behavior. It does, yeah. So you're not going to want to always right away like, oh, it's no good, and just, you know, toss it. Right. It's probably great <coughs> stuff in there. Right, right. Um, one thing that I do want to do, mm -hmm. um, and I want to try something, right. it's called um, the empty chair technique. Okay. Okay? So what that is, is that I'm going to bring another chair, and you're going to kind of talk to yourself, mm -hmm. um, and tell yourself how stressed you are, okay? You're going to tell them any, anything that's on your mind that's really bothering you with this whole semester, and yeah. just, you want to get it off your chest, <coughs> I want you to go ahead and, and say it um, when we do this technique. Okay. And then we're going to go from there. Is that okay? Yep, that's fine. Okay. okay, so this is going to be, you know, you. Okay. <laughs> You're going to just, like I mentioned, talk to yourself. Right. And anything that comes to mind as far as, you know, the whole semester that you just want to, like, rant and rave about, mm -hmm. it's okay. If you want to scream at yourself, it's okay. <laughs> I, I don't think I can do that without coughing, so I won't. It's, it's Cough, anything you want to do. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, so do I talk like I'm talking? I'm, I'm sorry. So talk like if it's another person, but it's actually oh, okay. you. I got it. I, um, you know, you're really stressed out. Um, these classes are, it's a lot. And, you know, you, under, you undertook a lot when you chose to do four classes. Um, deadlines are coming up, and you have this cough that just will not go away. And um, I don't think, you know, it's going to be gone in the next couple of days. Um, you have a presentation coming up. You don't want to cough during your presentation. That's going to ruin the whole thing. Um, and there's a lot of pressure just to do well and get the grades that you know you should be getting. Good. That was great. That was great. So now, being that you 
told yourself this. <coughs> right. I want you to, I mean, if you want to switch seats or if mm -hmm. you just want to do it whichever way, but I, I want you oh. to answer yourself okay. as you would give a friend this type of advice. Okay. Should I switch? Seats? Um, Maybe it'll just okay. give it a better, you know. Perspective. Right? Yes. Okay. All right. So now I'm talking to the other. So, yes. So okay. now you're talking to yourself, but as you're answering what you just said to yourself okay. and giving the advice that you would give a friend. Okay. Um, all right, so yeah, four courses is a lot, but you've had four courses in the past and you've done well with that. So what makes you think that you can't do that this time? And the other thing is coughs don't last forever. I've never known anyone that's had a cough for the rest of their life. So this is gonna be most likely gone in a couple of days. Um, if you cough during your presentation, I'm sure people will understand they're not going to take points off for coughing. So just you know, just realize that you have more potential than you realize, and um, just get it done. That was great. That was great. So you did give yourself great feedback. Okay. Okay. And so okay. So being that you heard what feedback you would give a friend, mm -hmm. what do you think? now on your perspective <coughs> on these four classes? Do you think that you can maybe tackle it or do you still think that, that you're still a little weary about it? I, I think I can I can tackle it, I really do. I'm, I'm not gonna say that all my doubts are erased, but okay. I, I'm, I'm definitely more confident now that I've really had time to sit and, and, and think, think about that. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, sometimes you just have to kind of like get out of yourself and kind of hear what you would tell yourself because you can give yourself good advice, right? You know, so um, you know, doing this technique can be very helpful and 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 <coughs> not eliminating, but yeah. you know, resolving some of them and working up to that. Mm -hmm. You know, again, four classes is tough, yeah. And um, I mean, I know that you feel really stressed because of these classes, right? Um, and it's it's <clears throat> really really hard, but you have done it in the past. Yeah. Um, you've gotten good grades in the past so you are able to do it mm -hmm. and you know you have to believe in yourself a little more than what you do right. <laughs> because you can definitely do it and yeah. like you, you you know you gave yourself great advice the cough is not going to last forever mm -hmm. it will go away and if it doesn't go away there's cough medicine for that you know <laughs> <laughs> cough medicine will definitely take it away if right. not over the counter you know like i mentioned the doctors mm -hmm. um they have great medicines yeah. <laughs> that can that can definitely help right. with all that. Um, so now that you've done this exercise, mm -hmm. um, and I mentioned, you know, that well, you mentioned to me that you can talk positive to yourself. Right. What do you think you can continue doing? Um. Well, um, first of all, the positive self-talk, like we just said, I think that's definitely helpful, doing all the other things that I do. Um, and really just, you know, all these negative thoughts that I have, just really um, just pushing them out. You know, like how we practice mindfulness in yes. our classes? Um, I try to do that on my own as well. Oh, okay, that's good. Um, it, it's, it's hard, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. But I, I have at times been to a place where I could just push all those thoughts out and just focus on what I need to focus on. And okay. I think that that's very important that I need to start doing that. Yes, definitely. I mean, if it's work in the past, mm -hmm. continue, try it and continue doing that. Right. Because, like you said, it worked in the past. Yeah. So, And you, you've gotten this far. Mm -hmm. So you just have a little bit more to go. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you know you can do it. Mm -hmm. You know? It's four classes. I give you, that, that's a lot. Right. But... <laughs> And just maintain your focus. Like, see the light at the end of the tunnel. Exactly. It's yeah. there. It's yeah. there. Yeah. You can almost touch it, you mm -hmm. know? So th there is a light. You're not always going to be in school for, you know, the rest of your life. Right, right. Um, although people like to sometimes. But, hey, <laughs> um, again, um, doing the mindful, the, the talking <clears throat> to yourself positive regard is, is great. That's a great exercise. Yeah. And talking positive to yourself because you, you end up believing it. Mm -hmm. You end up believing what you speak to yourself. Right. Um, so that's <coughs> definitely important to do. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So do you 
how's your um I know you live on campus. Yes. Do you ever go home to see your parents or yep. yeah, okay. Um every other weekend actually. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And do they give you like when you're stressed out, I know you said you speak to them. Mm-hmm. I'm sure they give you words of encouragement. Oh, yeah. They push you to succeed Absolutely. and all that. Okay. So there is like, you know, you have positive reinforcement there mm-hmm. as well. Okay, so that's that's great, you know, because getting positive reinforcement everywhere is, is a good thing, you know, so that way when you're doubting yourself, <coughs> someone else can be yeah. there. and, and you need cheerleaders. Exactly, you do, you do. You need the cheerleaders to keep you up and, and, uh, and going sometimes, mm-hmm. you know. When times are tough, they're there for you, right? Yep. Who's better than uh, than your family? Absolutely. Now, you're this, you have both your mom and your father. Mm-hmm. Do you have any siblings? I have an older sister. Okay. And she's also very encouraging. Okay. She's she's getting her doctorate, so she knows oh, about stress. So she's, yeah. Yes. Oh. She's bigger than this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so definitely. Yeah. So do you ever go to her for advice? I do. I you do. do. Okay. Mm-hmm. She's able to sometimes clear your mind mm-hmm. or okay. Okay. Well then that's that's great. So you do have a lot of positive people around you that are able to build you up when you feel you can't do it for yourself. Absolutely. Um so that's, that's really important to do. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so what I want to do is I want to kind of set up some goals for you. Okay. Um, so that way when you're stressed, you know what you can um, kind of turn to and what to do. Right. Um, okay, so your initial concern obviously was the stress from – these four classes that you're taking, um, and it hasn't been at this stressful up until this point, right? I have that right so far. Okay, so um, what I want to kind of do is um, is set up the goals. So when you're stressed, kind of like in what order you would do things according to what helps the most. Right. So. From the things that you mentioned, which one of those do you think would be like top priority that always helps when you're stressed out, no matter what the situation is? Um, from you're saying the things that I named is As, okay. yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, probably um, studying language is okay. my because it's it's right in front of me. Like to get to the gym, you have to walk out of the room and go. You know. Yeah. This is something that it's it's on your computer, so it's not. Okay. You have yeah. no excuse. That, that that's true. Okay, so studying the language and. <laughs> Out of all the things you mentioned, what is like the least that works? Um, well, I, I don't want to say it's it's bad, but if you want me to say like the least, I would say um, or the least effective, I guess. <laughs> um, I don't want to say talking to people because that can be really good, but mm-hmm. talking to certain people, like sometimes I have friends that aren't always the best. Yeah. Okay. You know yeah. I mean? And they don't give the best advice. They don't. Here. Okay. They don't. All right. So talking to certain people. Right. Right. Okay. All right, so then when you're feeling at your most stressed <coughs> out, when you have <clears throat> papers and assignments and all that, what I would want you to do is go ahead and study the language, right. you know. Take five, ten minutes, you know, whatever you need, um, so that way you can just get yourself back into the zone and then – you know, get there, and then you can go back and and do your work. Right. I just want you to kind of, um, you can either go up the chain or down the chain, you know, if you wanted to work right from the one thing that you know works the most, or if you wanted to go, um, I mean, I know you said talking to certain people doesn't work, yeah. but being sociable is works with some people, you know, so if you want to socialize with certain people and work up the ladder um, <coughs> towards you know the studying of the language um, you can do that but I do want you to establish these goals that um, when you're like I said here when you're feeling stressed and you just like you just can't focus on any of your assignments um, I need I want you to go ahead and you know either remember it or take the piece of pa- take a piece of paper out and and be like, okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and just take 10 minutes away and you know study this language right. and and do that. Um, now in there, I know you also said the positive 
talking to yourself. Right. That's always a good thing to add into the mix mm -hmm. as opposed to having it in the latter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can study your language and give yourself positive, you know, like, <coughs> Gowan, that's great. Yeah. You did a good job, right. you know, like, just to build yourself up, mm -hmm. just to kind of change um, the behavior that you're having right then and there mm -hmm. of being stressed. Right. Because stress isn't a good emotion that you want. Right. So you want to change that emotion to something that's going to be more positive. Mm -hmm. And if the studying of the language is going to help you, um, even for the five minutes or the ten minutes, or if you needed more, you know, to get you back to where you know you can be. Mm -hmm. Does that sound like something that can that can help and you can benefit from? It does. It does. Yeah. Okay. So then, um, <clears throat> that's what I would want you to do. So you know, I would I'll give you this sheet when mm -hmm. you leave. And, and you can see, you know, what we spoke about as far as, you know, the language and um, having feet, uh, having uh, conversations, well, not conversations with yourself, right. but, um, <laughs> you know, giving yourself positive feedback yeah. and, you know, speaking to yourself and even speaking to your family, your sister, that mm -hmm. she can relate to everything that you're going through, times 10 probably. Yes. And, and you know, having that that communication with everything, with everybody and, and the language is going to be great to actually overcome the stress <coughs> and get over this semester, yeah, you yeah. know, and get closer to that light at the end of the tunnel yeah. that's going to be helping you to, um, to get your career, right. you know, where you want to be. So then that way, um, like you mentioned <coughs> before, that you're not where you want to be at the moment, mm -hmm. but you will be, yeah. you know, there's certain steps that have to be taken, just like the ladder, and from there, once you reach it, it's going to be all worth it. Right. So, um, so that's what really what I would want you to do. Um, and then it should reduce the amount of stress that you're feeling. Right. Um, but if for some reason you feel like the studying of the language doesn't always help, because mm -hmm. You know, when you're studying, you, headaches and all that, studying yeah. a language might not be the only thing. So go ahead and do the workout. Yeah. You know, go ahead and do the treadmill, mm -hmm. something relaxing or, or something to that effect. Mm -hmm. um, you know, go to the sauna or, you know, that's yeah. all that stuff can reduce. And that's what you want. You want to reduce the stress so that way you can focus more on right. what needs to be done. Absolutely. Okay, well... What we'll do, what I'll have you do is see how, so you have like an assignment too, because I know you mentioned there's a presentation. Yes. Um, now this, that's soon? Uh, yes, it is. Okay. A couple days. So how about we see each other in like a week after your presentation to see how everything is going from there and... Um, we can see how your stress level is. Hopefully right. it's better, right. you know, with you being able to, to speak your positive regard and your family and, and everything is there. And um, also to work on, you know, your stressors. So working out, um, going to the gym and all that. Um, so do you think a week would be good for you to come back and, and to see how, we're, how you're going with that? Yeah, I think that would be good. Okay. So then we'll do that and we'll see you in a week. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. You too. Thank you.